Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In the previous video, we started creating a directory and downloading the remote SVN repository of our plugin from WordPress to our local. So let's continue with the same. So what we did so far was we used the command which is SVN space CO. I mean, you can go to the um, blog that I've written on QuerryTech.com on submitting a new WordPress plugin. And um, you can use this command SVN dot SVN space co and then the URL that you have received in the email to be able to download the remote repository directories, remote repository from the SVN to your local. So this is what we have currently. What we're going to do now is go ahead and place the files of our plugin into relevant directories. Okay. So let's follow the blog. So it says that first we need to copy our main file into the trunk. Okay, so let's do that. So all the things that we have in the root directory, all the files that we have in the root directory, we're gonna copy that, okay? So we're gonna take readme.txt, we're gonna take aquila features.php, and we're gonna place that inside of aquila features, then we're gonna place that inside of trunk. Okay, so we've got these two files. We don't have any styles, so we'll leave that there. Next thing we want is all the assets. So screenshots and things like that. Okay, so we'll go to assets. We're gonna to go to source and then image and all the assets that we have. We're going to copy this and we're going to place that inside of the assets directory like so. Okay, the next thing we want is we also want to have the other files. So in fact, I'm gonna copy the vendor, the templates, source, includes i'm going to place that inside of the trunk so all the main files in the main directories we're going to place it here like so okay and let's see what else we have pending so under assets we have build directory uh, we have assets.php so i think we're going to need that as well so let's copy the assets the other asset you were looking at was basically for the banner and logos and screenshots etc this is really this one specifically is for your plugin so again, go back to the Aquila features and under the trunk, paste this. But uh, let's remove anything that's not required. So for example, I don't need this. Uh, in fact, I don't even need this source directory. I directly need the build, right? And under the build, we don't really need this uh, image directory because um, all of those has already been placed in the, on the other file. In case if we had any plugin related file, then we'll probably keep it here, but otherwise, uh, as we don't have anything, we can just remove it here. In future, when we develop the plugin further and if we have any image that are really required for our plugin, then we'll use that. But these basically need to go to the assets uh, directory, okay, uh, which is this one. So I'm just going to delete the image one, okay? Cool. Let the JS be there. That's not a problem. Let the CSS be there. That's not a problem. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't have any other directories that we should be looking at. So we have the done with assets includes, we don't have anything in tax. Uh, we're done with templates and that's about it. Uh, we also done with vendor. So let's see, trunk, it has vendor also, great. So let's take a look, uh, LSAL. So we have assets and I'm gonna do LS assets. Okay, we have, have that. Good. And then LS trunk. Okay, we've got all of those directories, which is great. Okay, awesome. Now, the next thing we do is add all the files from your local to the trunk directory, which is on the SVM remote. Okay, so like over here. So let's do that. So for that, we're going to run the command. We can say SVN add trunk and then all the files. So all the files that we have locally. I want to add that to the remote trunk repos uh, directory. Okay, so we'll hit that. So you can see that these will be added. Okay, then next thing we'll do the same for the assets. So let's do that. So what this is going to do is going to say, okay, so I'm going to take all the assets, asset files. Okay, it's going to say, take all the assets files my, for my local and put that on the SVN under the assets directory this one so currently it's empty as you can see now you're going to 
put that there using the SVN add. So how you do git add? Similarly, we do SVN add assets. Okay, so hit that there. Again, this has been added, which is great. Now, the next thing we do is we don't have anything else. So now how you do git commit m will do SVN CIM. Okay, and then adding the first version of the plugin. So I'm going to do that. Hit it. And this is going to Okay, so it's going to ask for my password for my ID. So I'm going to put that there, just password. And now you can see it's adding all of these files from my local to the remote repository of SVN. Okay, transmitting the file data, putting all the files. And once this is done, you'll be able to see your plugin on the URL, which is this one. So it's a public URL. You can see it says public URL, wordpress.org, plugins, Aquila features. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up while the data is being transmitted you can see that this was the old status well where we had not uploaded the data it says plugin is approved awaiting data upload but not visible to public yet once you make your first commit then the plugin will be available publicly so now that we have already uh, uploaded that in the svn okay it should be available public within a few minutes so i'm going to refresh and check there we go so you can see that one minute ago it has been uploaded. So it's got the screenshots here. It has got the information that we had added into our readme.txt, right? And now if you go back under assets, you can see that you have the banner, banner icon. Now notice that the pixel has been added here and there shouldn't be a pixel over here. And I made that mistake purposely to show you that in case if I uh, want to update the plugin, how do we do that, okay? So let's go ahead and make that update. So I'm going to update my assets under my local door. I'm going to paste the updated one, which does not contain the pixels um, at the end. And then we need to update it. So if you go back to the blog, if you want to update it, then you can go ahead and change the plugin version. And I'm going to go to the trunk, update the plugin version, change this to 1.0.1. .1. I'm also going to update the readme.txt, open with text edit. I'm going to change this 1.0.1, .1. save that. Okay. Now, if you go back to this blog saying, updating the existing file to SVN during pl plugin update, if you were coming after like a few days, then you will do SVN up first, which means uh, it's going to get all of the a remote repository to your local first uh, but since we already made that change we have everything locally we don't need to do that we can directly check svn stat after making that change so we'll do svn stat we have this m which has been modified and these are question mark we haven't done anything with those so now we're going to do svn add trunk all force okay and then svn stat and then svn m update file now we'll do svn add assets because this is in the assets directory force you can see that this has been added okay so you can also do svn start to check that you can see it's been added and using svn delete and the file path you can see that the other one has been deleted let's check svn start again now you can see that this one has been added and this one has been removed which is great now all we have to do is say Commit it basically. You can say SVN CI update asset file. Hit it. And you can see it's adding, deleting, transmitting the file data, committing the transaction, and it'll be up in a few minutes. Let's wait for that. Okay, so you can see now it's live, but this is not showing. So why it is not showing is because of the name. Because of the name. So name is expected to be just icon and not banner icon. So I'm going to update that and over here as well, I'm going to update that as well. Okay. Again, same thing. I'm just making these mistakes on purpose so that I can show you how to update stuff. Okay. Because you'll be doing that quite often. You're supposed to update your plugin. So I'm just playing around with it. Okay. And I'm also letting you know that, you know, what could be possible scenarios where you might get an error. Okay. So this should be icon hyphen and whatever the size is. So let's do that. So I'm going to say 
SVN stat. You can see that we don't have any information about these two. So let's add that. I'm going to say SVN add assets. So it's going to add these two, but you also need to remove the other two. So for that, I'll say SVN delete and then the path and then SVN delete and then the other one, which is 256 by, in fact, I'll just copy the whole path from here. And just paste it here okay so now svn start so now you can see that we have a uh, modification information for all of the files and that's really important uh, you don't want to be having this question marks and exclamation mark which means you know uh, nothing has happened to those files so it makes sure that you have some modifications here so these are two these are the ones that are going to be deleted and these are the ones which will be added Okay, so I'm going to again commit it. So for commit, we know that we have uh, SVN CIM and then update asset files. And then after deleting it, it's committing the transaction and it's pushed it online. So within a few minutes, we should be able to see our icon over here. So let's wait for that. And in the meanwhile, I'll just explain to you that, uh, you know, all of this information that you see here actually comes from your readme.txt. So if you take a look at your readme.txt, you'll notice that um, you have the contributors, that's a name, whatever ID you're going to put, your WordPress org ID you're going to put, that's going to be responsible for, you know, showing in the name, etc. Uh, and then the tags are going to be visible here. You can see block Gutenberg patterns. That's where it's coming from. Then you have tested up to 6.0 stable tag 1.0.1 requires PHP 5.2 or higher uh, license. All of the information comes from here. Okay. And then whatever you put at the bottom, like description, description is here. Features you've added that goes here. Installation and use goes here. And then the screenshot, basically you've added the path of your screenshot.png. Uh, that is actually visible here. Okay, so let's refresh. Congratulations. Now you've got the logo, you've got your banner, you've got your plugin, people can come and download it, um, last updated information. And basically pretty much, uh, and if you click on your profile, and just go to the plugins directory, you can see that these are all of the plugins that, that you know, you have uh, submitted in WordPress org like I've got all of these plugins similarly now I have a new edition thanks to you guys for the support um, and we did it together now we have a plugin here as well so you can build your own and you can submit it uh, it also tells you about the stats of that plugin like the active installs and things uh, you know you can always click on you can always click on that and then you know you can take a look at the um, stats by clicking on the advanced view and here it tells you about the download and stuff okay Cool. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed and start my repository to support my work. It's Aquila Features. And do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.